I've given eight mocks. My DALR and uh, QI percentiles are stable, but my VARC fluctuates a lot. This happens, not just VAR. Mostly, the one section that fluctuates a lot is usually VARC. And so, reading speed is ninth, but it's troubling me a lot. A couple of things. One is it could be just randomness. VARC for 95% of the mocks is vaguer and trickier than the actual cat. You see the actual cat paper. The passages are lovely to read. Even today, I can pick up those passages and have fun reading them. The questions are challenging, but not irritating. But in mocks, they do all kinds of funny things. So that could be one reason. Second reason in 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 VRC, you might be taking some chances. You might be answering more questions than you must. You might be not really putting fight to resolve the final one out of two choices. You might end up taking a chance that you should not be taking. especially in vrc score volatility is, is directly linked to accuracy and so someone who's generally has an accuracy of 90% will have a narrow band of scores mm-hmm. someone who generally has an overall accuracy of 70% if you have 70% and so don't get me wrong that means in a, on a good day it'll be 92% on a bad day it'll be 50% you may have one in two chance and so that is nothing that means your score can meaningfully go from 50 to 90 if you add the idea that there are negative marks the range is even broader when so your volatility comes in when accuracy goes for a toss so put a banker fight to bring accuracy into the into the fold slow down get stuff right read slowly look for detail be anal about points and details be particular about resolving the that final bit of conclusion conclusion confusion between The, the last two choices the more you train your mind to say hey, it is an objective exam there's only one right answer there is some ground that is going to be there to eliminate one of the two choices let me read these two choices again the more you train yourself to say that to slow down to be anal to be particular the better your accuracy gets hang in there and make sure your accuracy amps up most uh, crucially crucial point there selecting between the last two choices usually the guys who create rc content select one nice uh, middling correct answer which which ticks boxes and then they create an appealing wrong answer which is juicy which hits the, the spot you feel like it you feel like yeah this can work so this, this is the crux and then create something to disqualify that they extrapolate something that not shared in the in the in the passage they exaggerate they make one additional needless non mentioned claim so they do something to disqualify the juicier answer choice so look to eliminate look at the choice read it again and say is there something that these buggers have planted to make it look right or there's something they have planted to completely disqualify it so keep keep that in mind it'll work vrc these days is is uh, is not reading speed dependent and if you get six passages worth 24 questions and if you say look the dicey sentence rearrangement para jumble is not a big priority i'm not so keen on attempting all of those because it's tea time anyway i'm taking a chance then a, a, a good comfortable reader someone who reads naturally will 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 automatically find himself or herself saying look five passages to i can read i have enough time it's not a time pressure exam and so so don't prepare for vrc from the point of view of reading stuff quickly and so don't 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 be don't don't get carried away reading quickly the bigger challenge i've seen many people face and not really come out of it is to learn to read slower and so read slower take it all in make sure that uh, you don't have to keep reading and rereading a passage i think i think bardwaj mentioned this in his uh, in, the, in the podcast equal and thing that we did uh, you should read a passage slow enough and well enough that you don't see yourself demanding uh, your mind requiring another another iteration i don't understand the full article even after reading don't worry stuff happens i've read tons of uh, books and stuff i i, I hit a, a rut and i'm caught in the middle of a very long nice article where i don't understand everything it happens we, you, one thing i can guarantee for sure the more you read the better you get that is bleeding obvious but if you read two articles a day from now till till november 29 i can tell you i can bet my bottom dollar that you will be able to read four passages in in cat rc and and understand most of them and that's all you need so so put your head down keep on reading don't read 
hyperactively very often we read in an exam context all the time i've seen students do it they'll read something and they'll take notes and they'll scribble they'll, they'll channel stuff into their brain and, and then actively remember numbers dates details and all that you're not preparing for a general knowledge quiz with fill in the blanks questions you're you're preparing to write an exam where uh, stuff be- reading between the lines getting the crux of it getting the idea of what the author is saying getting a certain uh, nuance about it matters and if you're continuously reading either too quickly or being particularly in error about detail you'll miss the 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 reading between the lines part so read passively read without having this enormous pressure to remember and register and codify read read for fun read for leisure read to take in stuff if you if you're watching a movie and you want to read a review you have to want to smile at how somebody has ripped apart a movie do that in the frame of mind you will have when you're reading something funny right in your preferred topic be in that frame of mind when you're reading anything best source for solving rc and va course so questions the best question the stand out best questions and passages are the ones that have appeared in cat the stand out best material to read comes from bharat's list this apart if you want and then hit the f- first hit the freely available content with at 2 am then go through the the rc section between those two you might have it covered bharat's reading list looks way too tough to read of course of course some of the passages that he gives are complex ideas well written and long elaborate pieces so it hits three different ideas the the idea is stuff when they're talking about something very insightful i don't know the topic enough so to to get to their level of belief or to, to of, of intuitive grasp of the topic is a while the language is tough the english language is tough and the passage is long so sometimes if i read in one stretch i feel burnt out i feel tired and so but he's doing that he's hand picking that and giving it to you so that you get tired and you get burnt out now but your mind gets used to joining the dots i don't understand philosophy i don't understand happiness principle i've never heard that but i'm having to read that my mind draws that connection i don't understand this word utopian or dystopian uh, but i'm making some assumption and going along so your mind learns to draw connections and make assumptions on the way uh, and staying there for long builds your stamina so of course it is tough it is meant to be tough so hang in there 